Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to share with you a supernatural experience I had with God. I was in my living room. I had only been saved two months. Now check this out. I was bored. It was late. I was a little sleepy and it was I knew that I needed to say some type of prayer. I was trying to really get in a habit. I hadn't formed it yet, but I was trying to form the habit of reading the word every day, at least a couple of times a day, reading a lot of it, and praying morning, some noons and nights, definitely nights. I prayed my best at night. I tend to be a night owl. So here I am in my living room, and I'm... I'm trying to say this boring prayer. I mean, you guys, I did not feel like praying, okay, at all. And wasn't in the mood for it, didn't have anything to say worth saying. And I'm sitting up here trying to think of what can I say now, right? So not feeling like praying, I just start to open my mouth and, well, Lord, I don't really know what to talk about, but here it goes. And I, I noticed when I closed my eyes, I saw snow flurries. And I'm looking around like, wait, 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 wait. Now, my mouth shut. I mean, I'm not saying a prayer now. I'm so caught up in this vision that I had. And I closed my eyes. I'm not sleeping. I'm awake. <clears throat> I closed my eyes again, and I just watched as the snow flurries fell. It was so pretty, like a winter's night. Big, fat, fluffy snow flurries falling down ever so slowly. It was beautiful. I hadn't seen snow flurries since I was a kid in New York. It was beautiful. And I opened my eyes. And I said to myself, am I getting ready to see a vision? Hey, you know, I wanted to see angels and heaven. And I was looking for all that. Okay. However, something even more important and more astounding happened for me. I was sitting there. Now, remember, before I got saved, I always felt as if I were a nobody that would be my claim to fame. That would be my self-description. Well, I'm looking around. Nothing's happening. It's nighttime. The light's out. And I'm thinking, okay, I guess I better get back to my prayer. And then all of a sudden, I start feeling the supernatural. I mean, it, it, it's hard to describe the sensation. It's hard to describe the experience, but it's like all of a sudden I'm feeling this love. I mean, this love was beautiful. The love was tender and soft and subtle, and then it got stronger and it grew stronger and grew stronger, and it began enveloping me, and it filled my whole living room. I was, I, I was beside myself. I couldn't believe that I would experience something like this. And at the same time, once I was totally engulfed and the room was filled with the love, a scripture came to my mind I had heard read at church. And it said, God is love. And I knew, here was the thing, as instantly as I felt this love, I knew it was God. I knew it was God. But I had forgotten about that scripture. And the Lord reminded me of that word, God is love. And I'm thinking, for God to come out of all eternity, to take a time, a moment with a nobody like me, I couldn't believe that he went out of his way to make himself real to me. Well, by now I'm bawling, I'm crying, I can't hardly talk. I sound like a blubbering idiot. And I'm so moved. 
And I'm so grateful. And I said, Lord, for you to come to a nobody like me, to tell me you love me, from this day on, no matter what anybody else says or thinks about me, I am somebody. And I, as I soaked in that love, I said, Lord, I can now say, I love you now. I love you. It was such an intimate, one-on-one, -on -one, personal hands-on experience that no matter what doubts I had about the Lord, no matter how angry I got with the Lord years later when things would go wrong, no matter how disappointed I would get or frustrated because things didn't happen as quickly as I wanted him to answer prayer, one thing I knew that I knew that I knew, and I know to this day, God loves me. And I hope and pray that every one of you gets to experience God like that and even better. I said that to tell you, God goes to nobodies. God goes to the seemingly most insignificant. God will manifest himself to people that other people won't waste their time on. Because God is love. God reaches out to, to the untouchables. God reaches out to those that are messed up, chewed up, and spit out. God is not a snob, you guys. If you want to experience God's love, ask him. That's all I did for months, just ask him. And one day he surprised me. He answered my prayer by showing up. God bless you as you seek God's love and his love begins to heal your soul.